Hey guys, it's Rocky Riders, and today I'm going to be talking about a Cub Cadet. Not the same Cub Cadet you might be thinking of. It is a different one. Let's just say it's smaller. Today I'm going to be talking about the 190cc, 23-inch, self-propelled rear-wheel drive Cub Cadet lawnmower. It's a walk-behind and let's just say I like it and uh, you'll see why in a sec. GoPro. So what we are talking about today is this Cub Cadet Signature Cut, cut Series, part of Cub Cadet Signature Cut Series and it is a new 2023 version um, it's a 23 inch lawnmower at, it's an SC900 rear wheel drive 190 cc's and when I first got this mower this isn't like an out of the box review uh, like some uh, when I first used this or when I first saw it, I got it at uh, one of my Murdochs, and uh, I had been looking for a new lawnmower for a while, and I saw this in their kind of lineup of a whole bunch of other wood splitters, rototillers, all that stuff, lawnmowers. First thing that stood out to me was the bag very 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 big bag and uh and let's just say this mower will pack that completely full here's a side by side comparison of the bags this was to my old craftsman lawnmower let's just say it's seen better days and then here's this one you can already tell the opening is a lot bigger than that. It's a lot longer. And it's wider too. So my old lawnmower wouldn't even pack the bag completely full. I thought it was the blade, the type of lawnmower blade, but no, it was just the lawnmower. That was my old Craftsman. And it had front wheel drive, my old Craftsman. And if you were to look at the tires on the front, they're just bald, completely bald. No traction, no grip or anything like that. And I don't remember how big that motor is, but I know it's bigger. Uh, this one's bigger than my old Craftsman. Now, I know I said in one of my other Cub Cadet videos, the one about my tractor, that the modern day... Cub Cadets aren't good. I wasn't talking about the mowers, I was talking about the riding tractors, the riding lawnmowers that they had. This one is a lot better. It's not all plasticky and stuff. I mean, it has plastic, but the deck is metal. This is plastic. The bars are plastic. These are plastic. All the wheels nowadays are plastic. But, I know there is a lot of plastic on it still. And one thing I don't like about any modern day lawnmower, they all have plastic carburetors. So that's like, eh. But with mowers nowadays, they always put it in cc's, which is uh, cu cubic centimeters of displacement. Uh, so it's basically just telling you how much displacement the motor has for a cubic centimeter. So this has 190. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, there's not much to complain about it. It's... a good mower. I mean, I've had it... what? About two weeks now and uh, I've already done some modifications to it not with any making it better kind of basically let's just say that hour meter is a future video 
and lawn striping attachments are in a future video. Now, has a my speed or as Toro calls it, a personal pace. And uh, let's just say it, it can move out. It goes pretty fast. Uh, it starts up easy. I don't have the lever pulled so it's not gonna start. But it starts up nice and easy. I don't, <laughs> I don't have many complaints about this mower. There has been one time where it blew a bunch of white smoke. Out of the exhaust. I don't know what was that about. But I don't have many complaints. So another cool feature is on this side. This is the height adjustment. And this adjusts all four wheels at the same time and that's nice now this does come with a mulching plug bag and rear discharge doesn't come out either of the sides there's a uh, the discharge chute that you can get I never got one for some reason but you can get them and stick it in the hole back here and it shoots it out to the side from the back. So the blades come up to the back and then the chute shoots it out to the side. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, and like I said before, it bags really, really, really well. It does a good job of cutting it up. And every time I go into any tall grass or tough weeds or anything like that, not that I have done tough weeds, just tall grass, it's done perfectly fine with it. It hasn't bogged down, it just does good. I'll show you a video of that in a second. basically to clean the underside of the deck. So what you do is you take your water hose, screw it on here, turn on your water, and it's not going to start squirting water until you put it back on the motor. Mower. Um, so you put it on and it's spraying water underneath the deck now and then you go and turn on your lawnmower so it can uh, chew up that stuck grass underneath the deck. Okay, so we have a 3-in-1 blade here. This blade is basically brand new. And it's a little bit dull. It could probably use a sharpen, but it's fine for now. Um, this deck is dirty for the moment, but it doesn't do a terrible job of cleaning out. Um, so this is a belt driven rear transmission. Basically what that means is there's a belt attached to this shaft here and it goes to the rear wheels which then goes to the rear transmission. And this part is plastic. I don't like that either. Same with the part back there but most of it is plastic. I mean metal not plastic. So I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that.
All right, so I think that's going to end it, guys. I know it wasn't a very long video, but I will have more videos on this mower, including the striping kit and an hour meter installation. Um, and I'll also have some jobs I'll be doing with this, so I'll probably make a couple videos on that. And if I come across any problems along the way, like with the striping kit or any other problems with the lawnmower, I will be sure to include that in a video. So make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one.